please welcome the very talented Carl LeBeau! That's the sound that a man makes in his mind when he sees a woman he really wants. <laughs> and you know, because you've all have brought your women with you, and they're beautiful, they're decked out. They came with you. They're walking in here going, oh, yes. <laughs> of course, every single guy in the room picks that up. It's like... Hey, Bob, you smell that? And Bob's going... Ah, 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 ah. I mean, there's nothing like having your woman mentally raped while you try to find your seat, you know? I think we're sitting over there. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> ow, ow, oh, ow, ow, ow. Or again, the room's going, yeah, yeah, oh, God, yes, one more time, oh, yeah. But sometimes that very special lady can't make it, so you have to bring... Her. <laughs> kind of woman when you dial the phone, the phone knows it's a bad day. It's like shit, 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 Please don't be there. My friends are forcing me to call. Please don't be there. Hello? Oh, God. What are you doing? Nothing, you know better. <laughs> What's the matter? Asthma? <laughs> Great, why don't you grab your primatine mist? Let's go out and party somewhere. Guy, I can't believe you asked me. No one's asked me out in a long time because they say I drink too much and cause problems and stuff, but I don't think I do. When I go out with a man, a man has a point of view, and well, I have a point of view too, but it takes me like six or seven six packs to get to that point of view. But once I get to it, then I can ramble and talk about my life and where I'm from and what I've been up to because I know that, you know, I'm out on a date and I'm having fun. I'm just doing my thing. Oh, my God. 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 She's not, even, she's not even your style of woman. She's a little bit bigger than normal. She can't wear high heels right. It's like... Ah, 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 ah. You're afraid if she takes off the high heel, there'd be a hoof in there. It's like... <laughs> so you just drive up to the house. You don't even want to go in and get her. You just honk. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! She comes running out of the house all ready to party. He's like... Ah! <laughs> You have to beat her salt lick all the way to the show. <laughs> oh, and if you're on a motorcycle, you're really screwed because she goes, oh, a bike. And I'm like, and the bike's going, uh, uh, you fat fucking bitch. So you get here, you skid up to the front of the auditorium, she slides off the bike, knocks a speed bump out of her ass. She gets in line and she's all excited because there's so many people. <laughs> Hi, I'm out! <laughs> Did you bring any pot? No, I only got a hundred bucks on me. Fuck, I don't want you hungry. Jesus. You do not want this night ruined. And sometimes our best friends do it. You're going out with a girl, the phone rings, it's your buddy, hey man, you gotta, you gotta take me with you, man. My fucking bitch just fucking broke up with me, man. What? You gotta fucking take me with you, man. It's a man thing, my fucking bitch just fucking took off, man, fuck. You know, fuck, come on, man, fuck. Man, I got a date, why'd she leave you? She said I had no fucking class, man, fuck her. I don't fucking need, you know, fuck, shit, man. And you can't tell your date. So you wait till like you're halfway there and you go, oh, by the way, honey, we're gonna take Bob with us. So he just broke up and 
you know, he needs us to take him out. So, no, I don't want him to go with us because he chews tobacco and he spits in the can. He spilled on my dress last time. And I don't. <laughs> So you get to Bob's house, you hope that he's gonna be cool, but no, he's been hurt. He's drank a six pack, he's got a six pack in his hand, his pants are down, his ass is hanging out, and he's going, ah! Ah! Gets in the car, sees your date, starts playing with her tits. You get here to the show, the first thing he does is start a fight. Oh yeah, we don't need no tickets, man. Me and my friend will kick your ass, man. <laughs> Take him to his seat. He starts throwing up on people all the way there. <laughs> so you got to take him out to the car. You throw him in the back seat. <laughs> Turn around. Here comes your date. She knows that he ruined the whole night. She gives you that look like, I told you so. So this pussy is now closed. <laughs> So you're driving home, and he's just back there breathing, and you just smell that breath pouring through the car. Ah, ah, loser. Ah. Oh, God. And they always wake him about halfway home. They lean across your seat, and they go, man, I fucking love you, man. You're the best fucking friend a guy can fucking have, man. Fuck, man. What have I known you, what, nine, four years, something like that, man? You're fucking cool, man, and your bitch is cool too, man. Oh, you're a dick. You're a fucking dick. What stinks, your breath or your ass? Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we're being pulled over by cops. Shut up and let me deal with this, all right? Okay, man, I fucking love you, man. <laughs> hey, cop, what are you fucking with him for, man? Huh? I'm his best fucking friend, who the fuck I am, Mr. Bad Moon, Mr. Guns on the Broom. Hey, get the flashlight out of my face. Get it out of my face, man. He's the one with the coke. <laughs> And usually these are the guys that do all the drugs because they don't know how to seduce a woman. They don't know how to talk to a woman. So they figure, maybe if I get her real fucked up, I'll wait till she passes out and then... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you give a woman Coke, she's going to tell you her whole life story. And then when it was two... Are we going to fuck? It's like hanging out with a human fly, man. And besides, if you're doing too much, your body's going 100 miles an hour, you're going and your dick's going, what the fuck are you doing? Does any of that shit come down here so we can get high? Hey, balls, you get any of this? No. Hey, man, we're not getting any of this. All right, we'll just embarrass you later. Nothing like a 30-year-old body and a two-year-old's dick to explain. But you can't let it affect you, man. I lost my hair. That doesn't depress me. I know, man. I just feel like a hairy guy trapped in a bald man's body. Because you lose your hair and you get insecure at first. Then you say to yourself, wait a minute. This is me. And this is Peach Fuzz. I can use this sexually. Women love peach fuzz and soft things rubbed all over the body when you make love to them. So bald guys, when you got that woman that you love down on that bed and you're biting onto her neck, 
You stick that tongue in her ear. You rub your hand on her back and you pop nipples. You grab her by the ass, spread her legs and give real head. Oh, sure, your head stinks for two days, but who cares? You know, God damn, you're still with her in here, yeah? I mean, it's nothing to just take you down. It's nothing to be, you know, gay over. I mean, some people just lose it, man. They get depressed in life and they go, uh, 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 they just turn gay. What happened? I don't know. He went in for a knee injury and the doctor told him he was a fag and, uh, you know. <laughs> Fuck, man. You can't be gay. How can you be gay with all these beautiful fucking women we have in our country, man? How can you meet all these beautiful women and go, I wonder what her brother looks like? <laughs> shit, man. I mean, there was rumors that Mike Tyson was gay. I said, shit, if he was gay, who the fuck could stop him, man? What are you running for? Mike Tyson's here at the party. He's fucking everybody. Get out of here. Come here, white boy. 